Good day! This is my online teacher YouTube channel. If you are new to this channel, welcome! And please subscribe and click the notification bell so that you will be notified when a new video lesson is uploaded. Our lesson is about finding common factors and the greatest common factor or GCF using the listing method. Our objectives are to find the common factors and the greatest common factor using listing method and solve real-life problems involving GCF. Let us have an example. Arthur has 18 small shells and 12 big shells which he wants to place in boxes. Each box should have only one size of shell, either all small or all big and with equal number of shells. What is the greatest number of shells that can be in one box? To answer the problem, let's find the greatest common factor or GCF of 18 and 12 using the listing method. Follow these steps. 1. List the factors of the given numbers. Let's start with number 18. The factors of 18 are 1 times 18, 2 times 9, 3 times 6. Next, number 12. 1 times 12, 2 times 6 and 3 times 4. Step 2. Arrange the factors from list to greatest. Number 18. 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. Number 12. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. The third step is list their common factors. The common factors are 1, 2, 3, and correct 6 and the last step is find the greatest common factor among the common factors which is the greatest correct is not its number 6 so the answer for this math problem is the greatest number of shells that can be in one box is 6. Let us have another example. Find the common factors and the greatest common factor of 16 and 24 using listing method. Follow the steps. Step 1. List the factors of the given numbers. Let's start with 16. 1 times 16. What else? Yes. 2 times 8. Correct. 4 times 4. Now let's have number 24. The factors of number 24 are 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, and 4 times 6. The second step is arrange the factors from list to greatest. 
Let's start with number 16. What's the lowest number? You got it right. Number 1. Next. 2. Next. 4. 8. Then. 16. For number 24, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, lastly, 24. The third step is list their common factors. The common factors of 16 and 24 are 1 2 4 and 8 So among the common factors, what is our greatest common factor. You get it right. It's number 8. So, the greatest common factor of 16 and 24 is 8. Now, it's your turn. Find the GCF of 12 and 36. I will give you one minute to answer. Find the GCF of 12 and 36. Your one minute starts now. Time's up. Alright. If your common factors are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12, you are correct. And what is now the greatest common factor of 12 and 36? Correct. It's 12. So the greatest common factor of 12 and 36 is 12. Remember, common factors are factors that are the same for two or more numbers. The greatest common factor is the greatest or largest whole number that is a factor of all the given numbers. For your assignment, Find the GCF of 25 and 125. I want to end with a Bible verse that can be found in Proverbs 22 verse 6. It says, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. That's all for my online teacher. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and click the notification bell so that you will be notified when a new video lesson is uploaded. Good day!